Hey guys, we are exploring today if a triangle with these lengths, each side is these lengths, I don't know if that was proper English, but is a right triangle, an obtuse triangle, or an acute triangle, okay? I'm gonna be pretty detailed in this video. If you just need a really quick overview, I'll link a video over there. I will also link a video where I go more in depth about the Pythagorean theorem and also Pythagorean triples, okay? Those will be over there, but let's get started. Okay, we are using the Pythagorean theorem to help us figure this out, okay? So the Pythagorean theorem, you're probably familiar with it, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You know what, I kind of wish I would have like covered this up, make it a little mystery, right? Okay, so if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it is a right triangle. The biggest thing to remember is the C is the biggest number, the largest number, okay? So if A squared plus B squared equals C squared, it is a right triangle, it has a right angle, okay? If, oh my gosh, do this smoothly, here we go. Oh, that wasn't so smooth. All right, if A squared plus B squared is less than C squared, so C squared is bigger, which is, um, the biggest number is bigger than the two smaller ones squared put together. <laughs> it's an obtuse triangle. If you're like, you've lost me, hold on. I might be making it sound more complicated than it is. Okay. So if your C squared is bigger, it's an obtuse triangle, which means there's an angle in it that is larger than 90 degrees. Okay. All right. Last one. You can probably guess if the A squared plus B squared is larger, greater than then it is an acute triangle, which means all the angles are less than 90 degrees, okay? So guess what? We've got three problems. Can you guess that there's probably an example of each? Oh my gosh, wasn't that so nice of me? All right, so let's get started. First one, a triangle has the sides 7, 14, and 19. Is it right, obtuse, or acute? We are going to figure that out using the Pythagorean theorem, okay? So... I am going to label the largest number is C, okay? The other two are A and B. It doesn't really matter which is which, okay? So I'm going to do A squared, which is 7 squared, plus B squared, so plus 14 squared, equals C squared, which is 19 squared. Now, I wrote equals, but we actually don't know if these are equal to each other, so I'm going to just put like a little question mark above it, like we're seeing if these are equal, okay? So 7 squared gives me 49, plus 14 squared gives me 196. We are seeing if this is equal to 19 squared, which is 361, okay? Now, 49 plus 196 is 245, okay? Ooh, that's not looking equal to 361, right? So what that tells us is it is not a right triangle. Now, is it obtuse or acute? Okay, this is where I need to keep track of which side was my largest number. So it was this side, right? That was the larger number, which... um would have been the hypotenuse if it was a right triangle, but it's not. But still, it matters that it was the largest number. So when we look at this, we notice that the C side was the bigger side, okay? So the C squared was the biggest. When the C squared is the biggest, it is an obtuse triangle. So that means... One of the angles is larger than 90 degrees. Okay. All right. There was an obtuse example. Let's see what the next one is. We've got a triangle with sides 7, um, 24, and 25. Let's see. So we are going to set it up in the Pythagorean theorem and see what happens. So A, B. My C is 25 because it's the biggest. Okay. So A squared is 7 squared plus B squared is 24 squared. We're seeing if that is equal to 25 squared. So I'm just sticking a little question mark over the equal sign, okay? So seven squared gives me 49 
plus 24 squared is 576. Okay, we're seeing if that is equal to 25 squared, which is 625. Okay, all right, 49 plus 576 is 625. Oh my gosh, they're equal to each other. What does that mean? That means this is a right triangle. Okay, that also means this is a Pythagorean triple. Um, I linked that video at the beginning if you want to go see what that means. It's exciting stuff. Like if it's Saturday night and, you know, you could be hanging out with your friends or watching that video, you should probably watch that video. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, again, longest side is C, 14. The others are A and B. Okay. So, A squared, 10 squared, plus B squared, 11 squared equals c squared you're gonna be saying this in your sleep tonight okay 14 squared so now again i like to put my little question mark there just to remind me 10 times 10 is say it with me 100 plus 11 squared is 121 we're seeing that if that is equal to 14 squared which is 196 Ooh, not looking like these are going to be equal. All right, 100 plus 121 is 221, which is definitely not equal to 196, right? So we got to figure out which one is bigger. Which side was my C side? It was this side, right? These guys were the C, the 14, okay? So which one was bigger? Well, the 221 was bigger right? My alligator is going to eat that guy. So when the a squared plus b squared is bigger, it is an acute triangle, okay? Acute triangle. I don't know who came up with that name, but it's, it's just lovely. Okay, so that means all the angles are less than 90 degrees on that particular triangle. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Um, check out any of those other videos you need to because I know you're just itching to. And go to bed and have dreams of math and art nightmares.